what we got here is we're taking uh, the clearances up on the Model A engine. Uh, this one, the uh, customer said it was starting to rattle a little bit, so uh, he wanted me to take up on the bearings, so i show you guys the way I do it. I done, I've done. i already removed three shims, and uh, it's still, still loose, so I'm going to pull one more out. I've already took a breaker bar and broke the bolts loose. I just use this to spin them off. I've got a towel packed down in there to keep in case I drop a shim or something so it won't go down in the flywheel house and they're hard to get out. <laughs> Remove one shim here. I'm gonna take one off. Give me a little red grease and I'll put it back up. Put a little grease on it, stick it. And I'll put it right back up. Now some people try to use plastic gauge on these main burns. I don't do that because you got about a 60 pound flywheel hanging on it and it gives you a false reading. So what I do, I keep pulling shims out till, till the motor locks up. I can't turn it with the crank. And after it locks up, I pull the cap back down, add one more shim back, and then that puts my clearance at the proper clearance. Pretty tight quarters working in here. A lot of you oil leaks come from a loose rear main. Put the cheater bar on. Once I get the proper clearance, I'll torque everything down. the hand crank and see if it'll turn. Yep, so it still turns real free. So that means I need to take another one out. So we're going to repeat the process again. I'm going to take one off the other side this time. This is a Trial and error wheel. Right here, I got it started now. Peel it off. 
and a lot of grease stick it back up. This makes four shims I've pulled out. Whoever who rebuilt this thing, uh, they should have put a new cap on because it's broke out on the back side here and you can see half of the thread so that's pretty loose. I'm going to have to try to tack wheel that back before before the job is done. Okay, see it's locked up now, I can't turn it. So I'm gonna pull it back down, put one shim in, and, and, and we'll have this bearing done. And we'll do the same thing <clears throat> for the remaining middle and front. Okay, we're back now. We, we've uh, put a little bit of silicon RTV right around the edge here. You don't want to put much because you don't want it to get any oil pop. Stop it up. Just a little bit of sealer around here. This takes a little dab. So I've put, I've put, added the shim back, and so I've repaired the cap. So we're ready to put this back on and button this one up. So put a little lube on her bearing too. Chassis, I mean uh, motor assembly. Lube. Some torque on it now. And one other thing, 
I do the rods the same way. Just to just take the rods down and, and uh, pull shims out until they till you can tell it's got drag, pretty good drag or won't turn. Then put one shim back in and turn it, and then you got the you got the the proper clearance. And uh, while we're at it, I'll show you a picture, a little bit of my. Just got my 31 Deluxe two door restored. I've uh, been working on it about off and on for about 10 years, and it turned out pretty nice. Took it out for about a hundred mile ride uh, Sunday afternoon. And uh, so I'll show you a little, a little picture of it. Hope you enjoyed.